Hello and welcome back to Pantheon the Geeks. You join us again for another terrain video. This time we're continuing with the uh, Sandstorm Palace uh, with the Sandstorm Collection from TD Combat. If you've seen the previous videos, we've unboxed the cantina and some of the dwellings. So now we're going to move on to the, the Sandstorm Palace. Sandstorm? Sandstorm? Sandstorm Palace. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I keep wanting to call that. Jabba's Palace. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to let Claire undo that. Okay. Uh, we've I've had, a look, I've had a look at the instructions online. Uh, it's basically what blurry, blurry, blurry. Come on camera. Well, basically a spot the difference competition between. Can you see what's missing from the instructions? That's it. By the way, it doesn't go any other way. That was the end of the instructions. I mean that's useful again, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't look anything like the uh, picture though. But I think we'll manage, we'll oh, yeah. figure it out. Uh, so that's the top part. Uh, it doesn't have a dome this one, it's got more like a... I don't know what you call that, mini dome? M mini dome, yeah. Half a dome. About half a dome. And then it's got these larger bits that go around the outside. Again, these are just attached onto the cardboard. Just take a little knife, Nick, to take them off the corners. These, see? Yeah, they're, they're one piece. And then we've got those bits there, I'm not sure what they're for yet. And we have how many? How many? Uh, six, I think. Six. Well, we've got five. Five, five, five there, but that's the six. So it's six yeah. of six. So these are all the pieces. Mm -hmm. So um, it's got some detailing on as well. Uh -oh. I haven't seen that on, on the picture. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. So this is like the cantina has got some detail on it. I like that. Um, that's cool. So let's get all these pieces off, mm -hmm. and then we can start building. Okay, so we've taken everything apart, and the first piece. I'm actually going to start at the bottom of this with all the instructions. Um, probably till I get to the roof. Uh, we have these. There's eight of these. These make a circle shape. This is the base for the model. A little bit like the cantina in that respect. Okay, so then once that's laid out like that, we need these sections. Uh, I imagine there's there should be enough for the whole thing. <laughs> Three for each of these. These are going to fit into here. Um, thankfully they do come out a bit and there's a bit of a, a lip under there so you can see. It's easy to stand them up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stick all of these in place in a circle and then we'll be back. So we now have this uh, large looking contraption, looks like a scary cathedral. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's very stiff like so far. Mm. Uh, right so next up on top of each one of these there's a little groove and we're going to put one of these little uh, things if you will. It's going to fit into this bit at the end. You want me some glue on? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I imagine it might have been easier to put them on first, but the, 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 there's no... So far they're not needing to be pushed into place. Like the very first kit we put together, they're just slotting in so far. So it's not really an issue at this point. So we'll go ahead and we'll finish putting these in place. Okay, so there we go. We have all the pieces done. Um, next up are these bits. Now what it looks like from the picture is there'll be one of these going in the middle and uh, they'll attach, he says, to the top of these. This is where it gets complicated. So you'll have one of those in the middle like that. By all accounts, come on. Cooperate. Oh, there we go. Right. So that goes on like that. So each one of those is going to have one connecting like that by the looks of it. Um, so quick look at it. Yeah, so and the next one's going to go next to that. Which will then start to pull this together. Because at the moment they're all just freestanding pieces. This will pull it together by connecting them all. Right. So, got to go around and put these bits on. And then we will return. Alright guys, just a quick in betweeny update. If you are putting this together, as a quick tip, uh, 
I've turned this upside down and I'm pushing them into place. It's a little bit easier to do it this way around and push them in down onto that. In fact, if I was making this again from scratch, this is where I would start. I'd lie these in a circle upside down, then I'd put these little widget bits in, holding it together, then I'd put these bits on, and then I'd put these bits on top. So, so far, I would build this in reverse <laughs> as to how it's been done. But from this point on, I'm just going to turn it upside down, push these in place. So when we come back, I'll swizzle it around so it's the right way up, and then uh, we can have a look at it. Okay, so this is where we're at now. Uh, this is very loose um, at the moment. Um, all these bits are still quite loose. So be careful if you did turn it upside down, we need to turn it back to make sure you've got a good grip on it. Turn it over. Right, all the instructions, I should continue with those. Uh, it next says to put the sides on. So that's these panels. And I'm hoping, I did check one before I did all this to see how easy it was to go on. It wasn't this one, but I'm going alright. So I'm just going to glue these into place. I'm hoping this gives it a bit more stability. Um, so I don't think there's any indication on these going on any particular order. It doesn't actually, no. There wasn't anything when I was pinning them out the sprues. I think right. it's just a case of whichever so just, order you I'll want. I'll literally just put them on as, as they come around then. Okay, so I'm going to put all these on. Just a little bit of glue on the, onto the, and then we'll be back when we've done that. Okay, we're back. Uh, what I've done, uh, we've put the sides on, and there was still no, absolutely no stability to this. I was hoping that maybe when they sort of joined together, it would glue it, but it didn't. So I've turned it back over, and I've put some. PVA glue between each of these and I also put a little bit of the dab of super glue on there as well so it will hold it while the PVA glue sets. Um, so there we go. But if you're using super glue with this, I've got it all on my fingers, be careful not to get it all over your fingers and be careful with, with the cardboard because it, uh, the MDF, because it will go on to it and tear it and stuff like that. It's very bad for using on. This kind of thing. Uh, previously, I've used it with doors and stuff. I did use some super glue mm. to put some door hinges on and stuff. So you've got to be very careful if you use super glue with with the MDF. Uh, so uh, less is more with that. Um, so this now needs to dry fully before we move on because it's quite large, and it's still there's there's only those joins now that are holding that bottom part together, and the joins at the top, of which you saw us put together. So that needs to fully dry before we move on. So uh, when we come back, what we'll be doing um, is putting these little bits on. These little bits look like Greek pumpkins. Uh, these are going to go on. And these are going to go on at the top. But I'll show you those when we come back. It's going to be easier to do it that way. So for you, this will be but a second for us. I might give it an hour or so. <laughs> See you in a bit. Okay, so we are back. <clears throat> and as I was saying before, we have these little uh, pantheon type things. Oh, I've got a cup, sorry. It's oh, alright. <laughs> these are going to fit in like that. And those just go all the way around. So we have these like, two bits that they go into. They're, just gonna, they're all the same, they're just going to fit around. And I'll be back once we're in place, really. Okay, so there we have the next stage in place. So now we're going to do the roof part. <clears throat> so for this, like the previous builders, we did this cog type section. These are slightly different. Uh, the angle isn't as severe on these, so I'm hoping these are going to be easier to put the cardboard parts on. Uh, but just like the previous ones, this bit's going to stick into there. Let's see how solid that is. No, not relatively solid. So I'm going to I'm going to follow the instructions. <laughs> And put this into place because there isn't a solid uh, base to work from like the other buildings anyway and this needs to be steady for putting on the cardboard part either way so i'm gonna have to attach this to this so i'm gonna put all these struts on and these struts have got a little bit out there which is going to go on to each of these so when we come back uh hopefully it's in place <laughs> okay so we're back You'll notice the roof isn't on. <laughs> uh, 
we had some parts left over which I was wondering what they're for. Okay. It doesn't that just show you them going on in the instructions, it just shows you them on at the end. These little bits go into here. So I may as well, while I'm putting this together, put these in place as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Make sure this is all dry, get this bit on here, and then we'll be back. E. So here we are. Kind of vicious at the moment. It does actually. That looks very. Yeah. Kind of reminding me of the, the the top of Ghostbusters or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> the, the the top of the tower of Ghostbusters. <laughs> I'm gonna call Gozer. Right. So the next bit is this. So we've got this bit on here, and uh, much like the previous uh, things, this is gonna go down. This is one segment less than the previous ones mm. and there's no little clip that goes into anything so uh, I'm going to bend all these down so I've got plenty of give in them and then I'll be gluing them on unlike I did with the previous ones actually underneath here you know, to keep it on because the others had a tab at the bottom mm. and there's actually enough tension in that to, for the tab to keep them in place and I just glued the tab at the bottom this I'm going to glue them actually on uh, I don't think there'll be as much tension in this, he says, hopefully, uh, because, um, as I said, they're not as long, and the gradient's different as well. It's slightly less. Anyway, we'll find out when I put it on. So let's put this bit on, and then I'll be back. Okay, guys, so first off, sorry for any noise in the background, uh, but there is the roof on. It went on very easy, he says. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it did. I uh, put a little bit of glue under each piece and um, it seems to have stuck on. It's alright. Ah, oh, cool. So the next phase are these parts. There are four of these, so they should fit around. Um, and again, we've got this slow gradient, so it should go on pretty easily. Uh, these will definitely need to be glued though. Because that almost went on without being glued. Really? Yeah, almost. Ooh. Uh, but I would recommend gluing. So these bits are just going to be bent around, put on, same way. And then we have these four uh, little things that have been included. They're like connectors. So they'll attach the four of these. So they'll go between two of these. Oh, to, to clear yeah. the line kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. So I'll stick them on, stick these on, and then we'll be back. Okay, so here's the roof. Um, they went on alright. These bits, make sure you bend them down the middle, but also you've got to crease them. There's no actual bit there because it, of the angle of it. You've got to crease ah. that bit there. You can see it on the picture actually. Whoever's built that had to do the same thing. There's a little bit of a guide. The crease is just about where the actual bit where you took it off the cardboard is. Oh, right. So it's okay. There's a tiny little bit stuck on the cardboard. If you crease it about there, give it some. Just make sure you bend it a couple of times, not too much, and then just stick it on with some glue. Done. Mm. So that is actually where the instructions are to build this end. Right. Not finished. <laughs> no. So let's push this stuff on the side for a moment and see what we've got left. We have this bit, this bit, have these, have bits. these bits. I think those go on there though. Yeah, I think the giveaway with that is it actually shows you yep. where they go for a change. You have a door. Yeah. That's cool. You have that. The doorway. And then that goes there. Alright, so that's like the other thing that's on the other building, same yeah. thing, but it actually shows you it goes on there. You've got two okay. vents that go two on vents. top, and then you've got like a circle within a circle. Right, so that, only because it's on there, I know, is the top part of the roof. So it's literally small circle, big circle, that goes on top. I like all times when you do DIY. What's that? <laughs> it looks like one of those parts, but we've all used right. them all. They're definitely all on. <laughs> because I saw them. Yeah. Um, and you saw them at home as well, so. We've yeah. no idea where that's come from. Unless right. it's a spare in case one gets broken or Unless lost. It goes on or... This bit I don't know where they uh, Right, well. so that's the bottom part. So that will fit onto one of these, it doesn't matter which one it goes on, I don't think. Um, that's the top part. So, let's have a look. That's the bottom. Mm -hmm. 
So those two are going to go in there. One like that. One like that. What else have we got? The door is going to go in there because there's a little thing for the door to go in there. That's going to fit onto the front. And then that's, that's going gonna to make the roof part. So let's stick this bit together and then we'll be back. Okay, so there it is, stuck together, like so. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some glue on that, some glue on that, down there. I'm going to stick it to the main bit and then we'll be back with a finished building. Okay, so that is drying and in place. Um, it's bigger than I thought it was going to be, anyway. Yeah. It's quite impressive. Yeah, I thought, uh, from the picture... Where's I'll... Fred the Stormtrooper? It, it looks there's a Fred lot. Fred the Stormtrooper. You can see... Squished. He is the... He's like... Oh, Jabba's Palace. <laughs> there you go. So mm. that's that's just for scale purposes. But this is a Ooh. very cool looking building. Mm. I mean, it's just a big line of sight blocker, obviously. Mm. But it's a bit more interesting than, than a pile of books or a hill. Yes. Uh, <laughs> it's very cool. I mm. like it. Um, it's very characterful. Yes, it's I said it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, but again, we've got a bit left over, haven't we? No idea what that's for. Maybe it's the front door mat. Maybe it is. Jabba's place <laughs> on the front door mat. Good work. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why we'd have another one of those. Maybe it's just a spare. Yeah. Worth knowing if you do start with those bits, like I suggested, that you might have a spare one in there. Yeah. Because uh, this bit isn't even in there, in the instructions. It's a bit, a bit strange. Mm. But there we go. Yeah. Uh, we managed to figure out, uh, it had the important parts in. Yeah. And we managed to figure out the rest, probably because we built the other buildings first. But there we go. It's a very cool building. I can recommend it. Um, what do you think? I, I really like it, actually. Yeah. I think it's proper characterful. I'm going to give them another 5 out of 5 for it. I like, I like this bit going yes, on. Yes, the roof. Yeah, I, mean, I really like that. Boonk, that's that bit on top that you maybe didn't see. But yes. It's, yeah, it's very cool. Mm. I don't know what to say other than it's very cool. I'm just not sure I'm going to paint this one yet. I've got an idea I'm going to paint the other ones. I don't want to do this the same or not. Yeah, because you've got like, little cracks in the wall. And yeah, I quite like that. All this stuff. Cool. Right, so let's push that out of the way so it can be in peace. In our next video, we'll be building the Palace Tower to go along with this. This is the Palace Tower. Uh, so join us for that. Please like and subscribe, it helps out loads. Mm -hmm. Tell your friends about us. Spread the word about Panty of the Geek. <laughs> See if we can get some more subscribers. But um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, you guys take care, and we'll see you next time for unboxing the Palace Tower. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye.